But what you've done that's so great is you've gone back to the old colonial, you know, rope drum concepts of books that you've written and concepts that you played. What got you involved in that kind of historical drum playing? Well, it, to a certain degree, it was also Chapin because he, you would, you would ask Jim about any event in history, no, no matter at what age it happened, <laughs> it, uh, and Jim would he know something a about brilliant it. brilliant man, yes. Yeah, a, 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 a truly a genius, but yeah. you, you, you know that even better than I do. Yeah. Um, so, so Jim was a big fan of it, and of course, uh, back to the, to the tradition of Sanford Moeller, who was a big fan of, of that colonial, yeah. open, rudimental style of playing. And uh, of course, it also had to do with um, with the aspect that uh, uh, that Jim one time also uh, went to the uh, to the Fasnacht in Basel, yeah. and and he really liked that a lot. And, and he I remember him talking about that. Um, but uh, I mean, even here in Europe, there's not too many people outside Basel who know who know about Arba, yeah. Basel drumming. It really is the the, the cradle and the hotspot where. The, the, the phrases that we know as rudiments actually came from or where they derived from. It's parts from France, it's Switzerland, it's certain parts of southern Germany. And just recently I heard about a place in Belgium which, uh, uh, and which also has a carnival and they have a, a, a snare cadence that is like uh, th that stays within the family. It's not written down. Uh, Passed down from generation from to generation. From generation to generation. Interesting. Wow. So, yeah. So I've, I, I got to figure out that. So it's, it's mostly <laughs> for, for my uh, uh, love for, 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 the, for the history of drumming. And, uh, and as you just mentioned in, in the sessions panel, it really has a lot to do with looking back and seeing what was it that the people did before you came. Right. And, right. and I, I, I'm not sure if, if it was you who once said, we're standing on the shoulders of giants. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it was you, and yeah. it's, it's really the truth. It really, it's important because, you know, and, and we talked about Jim Chapin, and I want to talk a little bit about Jim, because Jim Chapin was a character and a figure that was so big and so brilliant. He had genius IQ, and he was just an amazing person. Just tell a little bit about Jim and how he affected you. To be very, frankly speaking, uh, in, in the beginning, uh, beginning, I did not really know uh, what to think about it? Because uh, I mean, of course, I had heard of his, of his book, and, and that, that's Jim Chapin. That's Jim Chapin. Okay, I see. And uh, um, so I took a lesson with him, and uh, and it was, I mean, from 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 a today's standpoint, uh, I was very unreflected with that. I just I just did what Jim told me, and I had no. <laughs> idea whatsoever where this could take me. The only thing I would see back then was, okay, here's an old man who I don't really know, but uh, it seems he knows such a lot about the drums and it seems he knows such a lot about how a stick works in a human hand. Mm -hmm. And he, it seems he has so much to say and I just don't question anything of what he says. I, I just try to imitate that. Good. And, uh, and, for the, and for that first period of, of learning and studying from Chapin, it was exactly that position, that mental position I was in. Yeah. And I'm forever grateful that I did not question <laughs> the things he, he told me. And that was one of the biggest things for my personal development as a player, because uh, when I was seriously studying with Jim, and then like 10 years later or so, people were starting to, to like rave about molar technique. And, by that time, I already had like my ten years Absolutely. experience you had ten years of, into of playing it. and and seeing and, and having Excellent. experienced how Jim would teach the system, yeah. and uh, so that was incredible and it was an, a major advantage. Yeah. But that's great that in Germany because in in America. The